Hello and welcome to another Reflection Line video. Before we jump to the test, relax your mind. Take a deep breath. And now, imagine. At the moment, you are angry and nervous because your friend is late for the meeting. Additionally, his phone is going straight to voicemail. You have always been precise, arriving at meetings on time or a few minutes early. You hate waiting. What will you do? Number one, you will wait for your friend and ask him what happened. Number two, you will wait for your friend and tell him what exactly you think about his being late. Number three, you will not wait for your friend and leave on business. Before going to the results, here is what you can think about. The phenomenon called a fundamental mistake of attribution is defined as the tendency people have to overemphasize personal characteristics and ignore situational factors in judging others' behavior. Because of the fundamental attribution error, we tend to believe that others do bad things because they are bad people. We're inclined to ignore situational factors that might have played a role. Remember that, in reality, the choice is not limited to variants, options, or typical spheres of life as it appears in our tests. It is multidimensional and diverse. If you choose to wait for your friend and ask him what happened, you apply problem-focused coping strategies in a stressful situation. It means that in order to handle the stress, you put the main accent on the change of the stressor. Such strategies can be useful if the pressure of stress is continuous and systematic. If you choose to wait for your friend and tell him what exactly you think about his being late, you apply emotion-focused coping strategies in a stressful situation. It means that in order to handle the stress, you put the main accent on the change of personal qualities of those who are guilty for a stressful situation. Such strategies can be useful in cases where there is a continuous relationship with certain people. If you choose not to wait for your friend and leave on business, you apply avoidance coping strategies in a stressful situation. It means that you try to avoid stressful factors by any means. Such strategies can be useful in cases of short and or one-time stress. If you want more tests like this, you can buy our book, Imagine You Are, Personality Tests with Moral and Ethical Dilemmas. The link will be in the description. Want more videos like this? Like our video and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to tell us everything you think in the comments below. See you beyond the reflection line.